千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Eric Lin, where we delve deeply into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. <clears throat> so, when it comes to life mastery, I think of the following formula. First of all, it is paramount to make a commitment, an absolute commitment, to what you are about to do to master your life, to master your destiny. Um, and when it's when we talk about commitment, it's all about discipline, consistency. You know, day after day, sticking to the same thing. Um, I have learned that whenever you commit to something, if it is a worthwhile thing that you commit to, it will bring its own rewards. It will be something. That brings positive value to your life in proportion to the positive value that you provide to the world, that you project out to the universe. So I'll just、um, use this talk as my example. I am absolutely committed to doing this talk on Sundays, and those of you who have been with me for many years,、uh, you know that for yourself. You've seen that for yourself. Overall, this is something that I've been doing for more than 20 years. So pretty much every Sunday, most Sundays, here we are doing the Tao, talking about the Tao. That is my commitment. When is it going to end? Well, guys, it's not going to end. It's my absolute commitment. This is commitment for a lifetime. So you are stuck with me. So that's the kind of commitment that I'm talking about. Commitment for yourself to stick to something. You don't have to do what I do, but you have to commit to what is right for you. You have to commit to walking the right path for yourself. So that is the first key, the absolute commitment. The level of commitment means that once you have committed yourself to it, that you stick to it for every day after that, for as long as you live. So it's not not a Light-hearted, frivolous thing to take on. This is this is very serious. This is life and death serious, because literally it's about the rest of your your life. Next, you have to proceed with intention in your mind, gratitude in your heart. Let me break it down into two parts. When I say intention, I'm talking about the clarity of having the goals. Goals that are so clear that you are able to write it down, that you are able to express it in writing. So this is gonna be very different from the misconception of the Tao that we come across from time to time. So some people will take the concept of carefree wandering and then say that, well, it just means that we don't have goals. That's actually that's actually the misconception right there. In the Tao, it's quite clear. When you study the Tao Te Ching, it's quite clear. The journey of a thousand miles, you know, the building, the tree,、um, that eventually attains great status. These are all representative of goals. If you don't like the word goals, try using vision. Try turning dreams into reality. We're talking about the same thing. Bottom line question. Is what do you want to manifest in your life, and why? What is the reason for that? That goes into your intention, because you want to make sure they are your own reasons, not the expectations from someone else, not the expectations of society. So, as I said in the beginning, writing it down may help you clarify them. So that's intention. So the gratitude. 
There is more that I want to say about gratitude. I'm going to use a mental imagery to help everyone hang on to gratitude. But gratitude, basically, uh, for me, what it means is that there are so many things I can be grateful for in life. And I want to make sure that I forget none of it. I want to, want to make sure that I remember all of it. And I constantly remind myself that I am very fortunate. I'm fortunate to be able to sit here and be speaking to you about the Tao. It's good to be alive. It brings me a big smile. So a little bit more about that in just a moment. So intention and gratitude. If you have clear intention, but a lot of resentment instead of gratitude, the formula will not work. If you are full of gratitude, but you are not sure exactly what you want to do, where you want to go, this formula will not work for you. You must have both. When you have both intention to do something and gratitude for what you already possess, this will lead naturally to number three, and that is it leads you to taking actions. And if you keep in mind the intention and gratitude every day, it will lead you to taking action every day. That is the key because these actions sustained over time will lead you to mastery of the Tao. It's something that's built up day after day. Now, I mentioned there's an easy way to remember all this. You may not be able to remember these four things, but I'll show you an easy way to do it. First, identify the keywords in these four lines, and there are five keywords. Commitment, intention, gratitude, actions, and mastery. Okay, those are the five things you need to remember. Now, even that may be too much. So let's isolate the five keywords. So again, those five keywords, commitment, intention, gratitude, actions, mastery. So the formula looks like this. When you have commitment plus intention plus gratitude, you end up with actions which leads to mastery. So if you put it together, it is a formula that spells magic in reverse. So if you think about doing magic, quote unquote, in your life, you can use that as an acronym for these five keywords. And there is another way. So if you don't like the reverse, you can do it in the order of M-A-G-I-C, magic. You can do it in the magic sequence. It looks like this. In order for me to master my life, I must take action. I must do so with gratitude in my heart and clear intention in my mind. I will commit to practicing this every day. So remember it however you like, but this is something that I know from personal experience actually works. The results that you get will seem like magic to other people, but it's not magic in the sense that it's not supernatural. It's the most natural thing there is, which I call the Tao. So invariably, there will be questions that come up on how to apply this and what happens when you run into an obstacle. So I'll try to, let me see if I can cover a few of the potential obstacles. 
What if you get stuck applying this idea? Well, this can happen because sometimes a task or project or goal may seem too big. It may seem like it's beyond your capabilities. It may seem like it's something that for which you don't have the, the knowledge, the education, the experience to be able to handle on your own. Well, whenever it feels that way, I want to remind you that what we're talking about here, the attainment of oneness, is an incremental process. It's something that you gradually build up to over time. And here is another mental imagery that may help. Who is that? That is Greek mathematician, physicist, and inventor from more than 2,200 years ago. So several centuries after the time of Lao Tzu, this is Archimedes. And what he said, famously what he said was, give me a liver long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it, and I shall move the world. And that's what this print is showing here. Archimedes moving the world using leverage. So the leverage part, I want you to think of the oneness of the Tao as your fulcrum. When you follow the Tao, you will be able to move your world. You will be able to do great things, some much bigger than you thought you were capable of. When properly applied, this is extremely powerful. So another question that I do get from time to time is, yeah, you know, Derek, I get that I should be grateful. There's a lot in life that I, I'm very thankful for, believe me, but I don't always remember. Sometimes I get into a negative uh, frame of mind and I can't, get, I can't get myself out of it. What do I do? Well, the ancient sages would say the easy way to do it is with a mental imagery, is with something vivid that you can recall to mind. So with that, let me go to that question. What if you have trouble holding on to gratitude? You can have trouble because we don't always remember to maintain an attitude of gratitude. And why would that be? Well, because think about it, the world is full of chaotic changes right now. I think everyone knows what I'm talking about. There are numerous stress factors in life. All of them increase tension. All of them take us further away from the Tao. So how can we get back to the Tao? How can we get back to gratitude? Well, the following may help. I like everyone to imagine that you have a library full of books in your mind. Not a physical library, not physical books, a mental construct, a library deep in your mind, full of books deep in your mind. Each book contains your cherished memories. And what do I mean by that? Memories of, for instance, time spent with loved ones, time spent quality time with family, in your memories, you have stored away great experiences and events. Maybe going out with friends, maybe birthday celebration, maybe visiting an amusement park for the first time, maybe a beautiful camping trip, hiking out in nature. It could be different for everybody. It could also be not something big, but small everyday sources of joy, things that you like things that bring you delight, remind you how good life is. Again, it can be very different. You know, for me, it's raining at night, which I know is not the case for many people, but it's uniquely my own. It's in one of my books in my library. So 
imagine your own books in your own library containing these things that you know will bring you joy, things that bring you to the state of gratitude. So keep this in mind. You can browse through these books whenever you want. You can walk into this library within, turn on the lights and look at the books, pick out the one that you happen to want to read at the moment, or just pick one out randomly, flip through the pages, relive a favorite memory. That brings you gratitude. Now, as I mentioned, we live in a chaotic world right now. It is so incredibly distracting. There seems to be so much negativity everywhere we turn, everywhere we look. So it is possible that sometimes you will forget that you have the books within your mind. When that is the case, you must also keep in mind that they're still there. They're always there. They never go away. They're waiting for you patiently. They're waiting for you with infinite patience. They're just books. They don't get impatient. So pause for a moment now and visit your library within. So I'm serious. I mean that as you are listening to, th to the sound of my voice, mentally visit your library. Look at your books. Pause for a moment, visit that library, and initially it may be dark because it's been a while since you visited this library as when you left previously you turned the lights out but now as you are in the library of your memories you want to mentally turn the lights on so you can look at the books then it'll be time to spend quality time with these books. It could be any book that you pick from the shelves. Books that will help you rediscover all the wonderful reasons you already have to be grateful. And this may help you reconnect with gratitude when you forget how many reasons you have to be grateful. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us travel safely. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness.